Greetings and welcome to Bunetics. We have some very exciting news. The GT4 wireframes suddenly appeared online and I finally found them. So um, I took the chance and just told myself, okay, I think this is uh, now the best time to update on my previous custom livery tutorial because um, I learned a lot of things in the past couple of months also with uh, you guys I'm asking a lot of questions some people needing um, help and were a bit unclear of how to do it so I'm now taking the chance updating on uh, the old tutorial showing you um, all the steps again and also update on some important tips and tricks and at this point I will just really wanna thank you all of you out there so much for watching my custom tutorial video and really you know made this video go through the roof i i really didn't expect that and um, it basically helped my channel to get out there and you know uh, generate some subscribers and to meet new people and yeah all of you it's it's so amazing i owe you guys so much and i'm doing my best to give back to you and provide interesting content videos and updates if you're new to the channel and just discovered this video, be sure to hit subscribe and also activate the sub notification bell to not miss any future content updates and tutorials on my channel. But before we get started, one little disclaimer. Um, these wireframes of the GT4 package are not my doing. Um, I did not export them or create them in any way. I just found them by accident. Funnily enough, it seems to be the same way like uh, the GT3 leak that happened. I was googling the past couple of days um, uh, on a daily basis actually because so many of you have been asking me and what I found out was there was a leak on Reddit which was kind of deleted but because of this I was able to find an Italian uh, YouTube channel who did um, the same livery video that I did a couple of days uh, after me just in an Italian language so greetings to him and um, he now updated his uh, YouTube description in a video with a GT4 package uh, uploaded on a drive. So I will include his link to his channel and also the link to the wireframe package where you can find it. And in this video I'm basically just showcasing how you can use these wireframes to um, create your own custom textures. So I learned a lot in the past months while creating my own custom liveries and talking with uh, many uh, of, uh, of you out there. Uh, there were many questions, many things that we found out. So and just before we start, there are basically two ways how you can use custom textures and custom liveries. One is you can do it with like a pretty blank base carbon design in the game. And the other one is with a full in-game design. And I'm um, just show you the difference in both and then I'll show you the GT4 and then um, I'll just quickly you know show you the difference um, to the GT3 liveries. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you go into your game and you create your own custom team. I'm just gonna do that here quickly with you guys so that I can show you every step. Just call it tutorial team. Now as I said there are two different ways to go uh, about this with the design. One is you take um, the 99 carbon base, which you have to set in the config, which I will show you in a second. The other thing is um, that you cannot customize your rims if you go with the 99 livery. So what I'm gonna just show you first is that you can use a base design of the game as basically your, your base color. And for that, for example, we just go with like a black base so we use the default number one design, you know, if you want, for example, take everything matte in the same color black, you can do the same with the rims, maybe give it some fancy color, whatever. So this is basically the base that we go and we save the team. And then we head back into the main menu just to make sure. And now the cool thing is that you can keep the game running while you're editing. And what we do next is we head into the Explorer. You then need to go into your document folder where you find the Assetto Corsa Competizione folder. There you click on Customs and on Cars. And the reason why we do the team is uh, because then you see the last car and team you edited if you sort by date. And we just open this with the text editor. 
and there you have all the values for your team see this is our tutorial team which we just set up so the cool thing is you can for example put in another name here that is displayed for the team you can put in the name for your driver that shows up in the menu and the thing here is with the skin template key the base design number one has the key 100 but if you want to use the carbon design we have to go with 99 let's just do that quickly here we then head back into the game again and we already see preview of the car has changed you can see the base carbon design with a different and smaller number plates and if we click now on edit you see that you basically cannot change the color of your rims and also don't give them any different accent so um, basically this is used if you want to have i don't know really fancy custom design and you don't care about the rims and you just you know want to have as much space as possible and work like uh, for example uh, the carbon base to like uh, let it shine through cut out some of the paint or whatever so this is how the 99 custom design looks now the only thing left to do is to tell the game where to find the uh, textures that we want to create so for this we go back into the documents for the Assetto Corsa Competizione customs cars and open up again the uh, text file that we just edited yes we see it's the 99 uh, carbon livery tutorial team and then you have custom skin name and here we need to put in the folder which we are going to create uh, for example gd4 tutorial car and we just save it again you can basically use whatever name you want and then the easiest and quickest way after this is then to just head back into the game click on single player check out your car yes it's still the 99 carbon livery awesome you confirm you go back into the explorer and then you head into your Assetto Corsa Competizione custom folder onto liveries and there you will discover, oh cool, the game created the folder already for you. Um, now don't be scared, you might have a lot of different named folders in here. The reason for this is because if you've played in multiplayer, a lot of players with custom liveries um, will be there. And what the game does is just creates the name and the config files of these custom liveries. But the texture files which are the important thing are not shared across multiplayer so um, if you downloaded something from race department for example and tried out other custom liveries and other people are doing the same you can actually see them in multiplayer so all these folders you will have here will probably be empty or have a texture file that you downloaded for from somewhere else but we now check our uh, GT tutorial car folder that we just set up and the game was so nice and uh, put in the Deagle's uh, config file and sponsor's config file. Now, the fun thing is for the GT4 cars, you can only use one layer for uh, your texture, which in this case is sponsor. So I'm not sure why they still uh, create a Deagle's um, JSON config file, but whatever. We can just use one layer, which is the sponsor's config. And if you open up the config, you see here the values uh, for the material. Um, I'll provide in the description of this video the other values where you can define if you want to have a metallic or a glossy or um, like a chrome layer. So this is what we do here. We just leave it as it is, which is the base uh, clear code um, glossy values. So now that we have the basic setup, of course, we need to create the custom texture file. So I'm putting all um, the link to the full packages that were provided um, by uh, other people where you can download all the Photoshop templates. Just be aware that maybe, I don't know, whatever Kunos decides, um, these uh, templates might be taken offline. So for the moment, just, you know, get the templates that we use and you need a program to edit these templates. Um, I use Photoshop because of all the layers in there. You can also use other software um, like GIMP or I don't know, whatever you feel comfortable with. It might just be that uh, you cannot change or work with the layers. So I'm just showing you now the quick and easy process in Photoshop. So I just opened up the template, for example, of the KTM uh, Expo. And the thing you will notice if you already use the GT3 wireframes is that the format is completely different here. This is like a widescreen template and you see all the layers that uh, it showcases. And another one, for example, is the Camaro, which I started already uh, working 
in and I'll show you in, in a moment. Now, uh, what I learned in the past months by experimenting is actually that the first thing you should do is pull out the design and sponsor layers from below uh, on top of the wireframe. The reason for this is, is because if you still want to use the sponsors, which as you can see is the Pirelli and SRO and Kunos um, stickers, you uh, need to pull them out and put them on top of your paint layer. If you don't want to use them, you can just, you know, um, click them away. Same as with the black design that is preset for some parts. You don't need that. Um, so if you want to create your custom paint, the thing you need to do is, of course, a new layer. And you should always do this in a separate layer because it's easier for you to edit. I already started with that. So here is my custom paint. And the thing is why I recommend this, because it is easy. If you don't like the paint, you can just put a different color over it with just one click. So if you keep everything in one color, you can do it like that pretty quickly. Um, there are a lot of opportunities to paint parts and to use effects, for example, to cut out um, different flames or objects. You can put even a fade effect to let the carbon or whatever base color you want to use get through. You can put up uh, custom texts, fonts or even logos and uh, icons on your design. Uh, so feel free to be creative. You might have troubles to identify parts. So what I recommend you to do is you use a different color and you just put numbers on the parts. This way you can easily identify in the game uh, the different parts and uh, know where to put stuff. And then what you need to do is of course we need to save that and get it into the game. Always get rid of the wireframe and always get rid of the background so that everything is transparent. And then we need to save it as a PNG. So we do that now quickly in Photoshop. And we need to put the file in, of course, the documents are set to Corsa Competizione, Customs, Liveries, our GT Tutorial Car folder. And for the GT4 cars, we need to name it sponsors.png as this is the only layer the game is accepting. And then we can use the medium file size, save it. And after the program is finished saving, the cool thing is you can just head directly back into the game, into single player, check your car, boom, updated. And now you see we have the numbers on it. You see the cool fade effect that we did for a test. We see our uh, text, we see our logo, and we can already identify some of the parts that we put numbers on it. Now the thing is, what if you don't want to use the 99 carbon livery and go with like a different base color to make it easier so you don't have to paint every part with, with a, a color that you want. Um, you just go back into your customs folder, go to cars and open up the last that we edited, which is our tutorial. And here for the skim template key, change it back to 100, save. And then we just go back into the game always refresh through the single player and we see we have our custom mat which we edited beforehand and the cool thing is now even with the custom texture on it you can just go crazy and change the base color see that and you can still change the base color of your rims so um, if you want to be able to do that, I'll just recommend you uh, go this route and it doesn't matter which design you change below. I mean, you can use even designs with like color combinations if you really want to put in the work and effort um, in, in uh, adapting your custom skin and yeah, color. So just feel free to experiment, go crazy. The way I do it is I just use one base color here and um, just go from here as it's just easier to have like cool fade effects or flames or whatever you want to go crazy with. And the great thing is you can keep the game open in the background and just edit whatever you want. So let's say mm, I want to have the sponsor stickers from the game on there. So we just activate the layer and the important thing is you have to pull it on top of the paint job layer that you just did see. So we have the Pirelli stickers and everything popping up. And then what we do is just save it again as a PNG. And 
and we hop into our custom liveries folder that we just did. Just overwrite the old layer. We wait for the saving process. We jump back into the game and you see template is updated. We have the sponsor stickers on top. Now with GT3 cars, it's exactly the same process. The only difference is that you can have two texture layers. One is the decals PNG, one is the sponsors PNG. Although you can still go the same route as in the GT4 and just work with one layer, which in this case you also always need to use sponsors.png. Why do you want to have two different ones? This is just if you want to have two different material properties. For example, let's say the decals.png layer, you want to have matte or metallic or chrome and the sponsors.png, which always goes on top of the decals.png layer uh, in a different material. For example, the way I did it in my AMG uh, custom design for my channel is I use the uh, decals.png as a glossy layer and save this as decals.png and then I'll just use the sponsors.png layer as a metallic color layer which as I said always goes on top of the decals layer and the way it looks in the game is then like this you can see that as a base design I also went with like uh, the number 100 and put in everything on black and put it to matte. So now what happens is my base game design layer is matte black. My decals layer is glossy black, which gives you this cool effect on top of the matte. And then the sponsors PNG layer on top is metallic. And it looks like this. And the cool thing is with the base design from the game, I was able to edit the rims and give them the same golden color and used um, a uh, light template in the front as well that goes really cool with the car. So this is how you do it if you want to use both of the layers. If you just want to go with one layer, that's also no problem. Just save everything in sponsors.png like I did with this black Formula 1 V Races 1 livery and then just set whatever texture uh, material you want in the sponsors config file to glossy um, matte chrome whatever you want but you have to put everything with all the layers and the stickers and the color into just one file which maybe makes it easier for you if you don't want to go all crazy and invest so much time for two different layers So that was basically it for my updated version of the, tutorial, of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the sub notification bell so that you can get future updates, future tutorials and also maybe join one of my live streams and live races I'm doing in multiplayer mode. If you want to share this tutorial, I would really appreciate it if you just share my full video and not just, you know, the links to the wireframes so that everyone can enjoy and uh, build up their custom tutorial. Um, liveries and also if you have any questions or need any help please just you know post a comment join my discord contact me directly I'm more than help, happy to help you with your custom livery textures so have fun enjoy making your custom liveries and be sure to check back for more videos I'll see you soon thanks for watching bye bye